In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Al plus HCl, aluminum plus hydrochloric acid. So when we write net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I won't balance it in this video. I do have a video on that. You can see the link in the description there. But the coefficients are 2, 6, 2, 3. So once you balance the molecular equation, you can write the states in for each substance. Aluminum, that's all by itself. That's a solid. Hydrochloric acid's a strong acid, strong electrolyte, and it will break apart into its ions. It'll dissociate. So we write aqueous, dissolved in water. Aluminum chloride, chlorides are usually very soluble. That's also going to break apart in water. So we'll write aqueous and hydrogen. That's a gas. So we have our states. Then we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So for aluminum, it's not a strong electrolyte, it's a solid. Anything that says solid, liquid, or gas, we don't do anything to. So we'll just put 2Al for that. And I'll write the states at the end, I won't write them now. Plus, hydrogen's in group 1 on the periodic table. It has a positive charge, 1 plus, chloride, 1 minus. So we have H plus, but we have 6 of these. And then we have the chloride ion, Cl minus, and this six, it applies to everything. So we have six of those as well. Those are the reactants. The products, aluminum, that has a three plus charge, and then chlorine, we said negative, and we're not gonna do anything with hydrogen because it's a gas. So we can say we have Al, three plus, and we have two of those, plus we have the chloride ion, Cl minus, and we have three, times two, six of those, plus we have our three H2. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Sometimes they'll call it the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These ions that appear on both sides of the equation. So we have our reactants here and we have our products. I can see that Cl minus is right here in the reactants and in the products. Because of that, I can cross that out. It hasn't changed really. We had six Cl minus here and we have it here. So we're not interested in that. We're looking for things that change in a net ionic equation. Aluminum is very different than Al3 plus. This is a solid metal. This is an ion dissolved in water. So we don't do anything with those. We leave them as they are. That gives us the net ionic equation. We have our two Al, six hydrogen ions, two aluminum ions, and three H2. Let me clean this up and write the states in, and then we'll have a nicely written net ionic equation for Al plus HCl. And this is the net ionic equation for Al plus HCl, aluminum plus hydrochloric acid. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.